Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Today, I figured I would build myself a case trimmer. The design is nothing particularly revolutionary. In fact, conceptually, it's not much different than a lot of the case trimmers on the market. I just figured I would save myself a few dollars by making my own, and as long as I'm making one, I figured I would bring you along for the ride. I started by drilling a couple alignment holes and tapping a threaded hole through a piece of 1 inch by 3 quarter inch bar stock. Then I drilled corresponding alignment holes in a 1 inch by quarter inch plate and machined a stepped slot that would accommodate a standard shell holder. Next, I drilled a 5 8 hole through another piece of 1 by 3 quarter inch bar. I also drilled alignment holes in the sides of each of the thick bars and corresponding alignment holes in a pair of quarter inch by 2 inch plates. At this point, I assembled the body of the case trimmer using slotted pins in the alignment holes to maintain the proper configuration while I TIG welded everything together. Next, I drilled a quarter inch hole in the center of a piece of 5 8 stress proof rod and tapped a couple of holes perpendicular to it for set screws to retain a cutter. I drilled and tapped some holes in a pair of 3 quarter by 3 8 flat bars that would serve as both a handle and a depth stop for the case trimmer. Then I turned a pair of Nylatron handles and some aluminum standoffs to facilitate mounting them. I turned down the end of a cap screw so that it would fit through the center of a shell holder to lock the case in place when the screw was tightened, and welded a metal tab to the head of the screw for ease of tightening and loosening it. I also welded a couple scraps of quarter inch flat bar across the base of the case trimmer to serve as feet. Then all that remained was to make a cutter. I have an idea about how I might eventually make a carbide-tipped cutter that would work with a wide range of calibers, but for now I just machined a simple cutter head with integral pilot from D2 Tool Steel, which I heated in a propane forge and quenched to harden the steel. At this point, my case trimmer seems to be working, so until next time, thanks for watching The Idahoan Show.